Eric, you are being asked why you are in favor or not in favor of string theory. String theory is not going to be disproved um, because string theorists discovered a piece of fundamental structure that we didn't know was there. Now, the problem for string theorists is that they over succeeded in quantum field theory. So we used to think quantum field theory was only useful for quantum fields that were physical. And then in the 80s, we found out that it was a general framework like calculus. So it's possible that one day quantum field theory will be used to optimize supply chains uh, or something as insane as that uh, because it's a general structure. The issue of string theory is I'm wildly in favor of string theorists when they are behaving. I mean, really, it's an outgrowth of quantum field theory. Um, in that capacity, this is they, they more or less are our smartest people working on problems, and they very much understand the issue of renormalization. The biggest problem is, is the culture, and the culture in, eight, in 1980s string theory was horrendous. Uh, it's since mellowed, and in fact, what Brian talks about is that string theory sort of self-invalidated in the early 2000s. Um, with, you know, uh, swamps and multiverses and the like. So they are a lot better than their critics claim. But the problem is, is that we're all uncomfortable saying things that involve people. The people had a bad culture for a period of time. It's in the process of resolving itself. Unfortunately, that terrible culture has poisoned the well, and it has far-ranging implications that we are embarrassed to talk about in public. Can I follow up on that just briefly? Brian. So, so I have a degree of sympathy with that discussion. You know, I was a graduate student in that period in the 1980s, and there was a sense of, how should we call it, unreasonable exuberance. There was a view and a feeling that this was it. This was the final theory, and it was all at hand. And us young scientists at the point got so riled up and excited by it. it was all coming from a good place. This is not some sort of, you know, dastardly approach to try to flatten other areas of science. But it is the case that that exuberant attitude was too big. And I, I agree with that. Now, in terms of poisoning and ripple effects, and so forth, it's a little hard for me to judge. But on that point, there's a certain degree of, of uh, sympathy I have with that discussion. But I would like to just finish this brief remark by saying when you put the culture to the side and you actually look at the science we haven't really spent any time on it but it's just worth emphasizing that at least as a mathematical theory the reason why we've been so drawn to this approach is it does at least in principle put gravity and quantum mechanics together that's a big check it does at least on paper put together the forces of nature and the particles that's a big check in fact, if you run through the inventory of the most successful ideas of the last 50 years in physics, almost all of them have a natural home within string theory. And that didn't have to be the case. It could have been that this approach to put gravity and quantum mechanics together looked radically different than anything that we ever saw. And we couldn't even imagine how older ideas of physics might naturally be embedded in this structure. So that's really where the appeal is. It's not some sort of approach where we want to wipe out the rest of physics. It really is the successful ideas, mathematical though they may be, within the theory itself that has drawn us to Sorry, it. Brian, um, wonderful that we are coming together intellectually, but we cannot bury under the rug the, the number of... Uh, I, I was on the other side of this. It wasn't... Uh, irrational exuberance. Uh, you know, Milai was not irrational exuberance. It was actually an attempt to say we more or less have this. Everyone else is a poser. Loop quantum gravity is a fraud. Uh, only Steven Weinberg's asymptotic gravity got a little bit of a pass. Uh, it was an absolute uh, nightmare to deal with string theorists. They were doing amazing work, but a lot of that work was actually in the geometrization of quantum field theory. To continue watching this video, click the link in the top left or in the description below. Or visit iai.tv for more debates and talks from the world's leading thinkers on today's biggest ideas.